Ah, <sighs> so you want to know how to play the Joker. Well, the time has finally come, and I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about the Joker. So this video is going to be broken up into six parts. First is going to be best perks. Second is going to be tech and things you may not know. Third is going to be combos and touch of deaths. Fourth is going to be are all your moves viable. Fifth is neutral and game plan. And then finally, six is going to be gameplay. Let's get straight into it. So I have five best perk sets, but these are the three best perk sets you want to run for any character encounter man. So let's get straight into it. So the first perk set we're going to be running into is the Joker wild card, press the advantage, two block, two fast, and armor crush. This set you're going to want to run against your bigger and heavier characters with armor. For example, Wonder Woman, Superman, IG, and etc. So the reason why I run these perks against those characters is because you always want to have the upper hand on these characters. For example, the reason why I run press the advantage is because these characters have a higher chance of living. So this gives me weakening that uh, makes it easier for me to kill them. Um, but if you feel like you do kill these characters quite early, then I highly recommend switching that with Snowball because, you know, it just boosts up your damage, does vice versa. Um, next is you want to run armor um, too fast to break dash attacks you want your dash attack to break the armor highly recommend that would even switch that for anything and then finally armor crush if you do feel like you're not really using your fully charged attack break armor then i highly recommend switching it with pugilus just to do more damage you know help you out to take them out faster and then finally the reason why i'm using this signature joker's wow is because the card is just too good not to use it when the opponent is at about 80 90 and they get hit by this card they're literally just dead there's nothing they could do about it Runaway Inflation is really good. It nearly does, I want to say, the balloon does double the damage and it's bigger and it's just better. But compared to this card that literally could just kill them, I just can't see myself switching off of it. The second perks that we run is Joker Wow, Protect the Momentum, Last Stand, and Clear the Air. And this is for your projectile characters. So, for example, TNJ, Rain Dog, Gizmo, Bug. And the reason why I run these perks against these characters is because you just don't want to be bothered by the projectile. For example, Protective Momentum. A lot of people don't understand this, but when you're running um, half a second, Literally, all projectiles get stopped. Light, medium, heavy, everything. Even when they're behind you, yeah. So if you're walking you're walking away from them and they try to shoot you in your back, yes, it still protects you. So I highly recommend using this and start getting used to like pretty much running at your opponent that has projectiles and don't be afraid and literally watch them. Uh, what they're doing to like counter counteract what they're doing but yeah second thing you want to run is last stand you're most likely going to be at a higher percentage than most of these characters so you want to be able to apply more damage weakness to make them even you know easier to kill uh there's nothing else that i really recommend you know unless they have armor which i doubt but you know twos could be different um thirdly is clear the air again projectiles you want to practice that pairing you want to use their own projectiles against them so there you go and if you feel like again you're not really good at pairing or you just feel like it's very useless right now then again highly switch, highly recommend switching that to pugilus and the final perks that we have is joker's wild card snowball effect last stand and pugilus and these would be for your characters like harley finn batman banana guard and many more and the reason why you want to be running these perks against those characters is because they're no threat to you besides being on the map so you just want to do as much damage as possible and get them out for example snowball you know you do more damage for example if they have you at a high percentage then you know you apply weakness on them and then finally pugilus again not the greatest perk but again just more damage is better and yeah these are the perks that i run and the two extra perk sets that i honorably recommend um is for the damage perk set you switch that out with airwalker and the same thing with the projectile perk set you switch that out with airwalker and the reason why is because that gives you access to a touch of depth on jokers that i'll be showing you later in the video so the second topic is teching slash things you may not know about the joker it's been over a week you should know this by now but if you don't know it's okay um the first thing is that joker can switch his cards whenever he wants to when he's crouching so for example when you're crouching he slits to his deck and changes the cards and finally if you don't know what the cards do for example the diamond is a sticky bomb so it will stick to your opponent and blow up or after a certain distance it will also just blow up in general next is your heart it is a phantom card so what this means is that it will go through your opponent and then come back um another trick that people usually don't know about this is that it's kind of like battering you could kind of control it and it man manipulate it so for example if i throw it this way and i jump around it actually follows me for x amount of seconds and then finally it is the triple card which is spades and it just throws three cards um another thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can actually control where the cards go so for example for this phantom um not phantom but just um sticky bomb i actually could send it upwards if i want to for the phantom card again i could actually send it downwards if i want to and then finally obviously same thing with the triple cards i could send it up at a, a up angle or a down angle as you see right here so yeah also a super secret tech that a lot of people don't know is that you can actually manipulate to get the joker card on um, more frequent and the trick is that you change your card about four times and you should get it on your spade card so for example if i throw this card it's a random but if i flip it past the spade and come back to the spade i should get this card as you can see now this is not a guaranteed way to get the joker card but it increases your chance highly as you can see right here but yeah
you can technically do three um, air specials on Joker and I'm pretty sure on almost every character, but I'll show you how to do it. So pretty much when you're doing your air special, you kind of want to touch the ground. So how this game works is um, as long as you do a move and touch the ground, you kind of get all your resources back. So for example, I'm going to do air side special. As you can see, I'm on the ground and I'm going to end it off with a um, up special. I just did three air specials, but you know, technically I did touch the ground, but not really but yeah not a lot of people know that and also um, a lot of people don't know that you can actually pull back on the cane move so for example you don't technically have to commit to this move as many think you have to you can actually do the move for it and then pull it back so you actually stop all your momentum your pogo stick actually gives you a jump and gives you all your resources back so for example i told you when you do your aerial stuff and you touch the ground you get all your resources back so if you do on um, pogo stick and hit the ground it actually gets you high momentum and you can still use both of your jumps as you can see i jumped really high now this is going to be me jumping without the pogo this is as high as it can go as you can see when i do it with the pogo full charge i could go way higher than um me just jumping normally all right the next thing we're going to talk about y'all should know but again if y'all don't know it's okay that's why we're doing this guy but your laugh meter your laugh meter is shared by your chattering teeth and your flower move not only that both of these moves can be cancelable with jumping and i'm um, dodging so for example chattering teeth i could just dodge out of it chattering teeth, i could jump out of it same thing with the flower move i could hold it i could jump out of it i could hold it i could dodge out of it um Another thing a lot of people don't know is that the Chattering Teeth, you can hold this forever. When I mean forever, literally forever. So you can literally edge guard someone like this forever until they feel like they're ready to come up. And it's a pretty good edge guard moving. Um, and yeah, and then also for the flower move. The flower move literally won't cancel until you literally touch the ground. So you can hold it forever. So for example, if I'm edge guarding someone like this, I can just bait out of it, go back into it. And until I touch the ground or surface or let go of the button, it will forever hold. So it's a pretty broken move that y'all should definitely look uh, more into and using in your gameplay. Also, Chattering Teeth and the Flower move actually breaks armor. If you didn't know, all armor breaking moves breaks projectiles, even heavy projectiles. So for example, yeah, I could do down tilt and instantly break the um, safe and the same thing with the flower. Doesn't even have to be fully charged, guys. Literally just one little tap and whoop, they are gone. Great for dealing with projectiles. So this one isn't that crazy, but I thought it was just pretty cool. So when you have the air walking perk on, you can actually pretty much charge your Chattering Teeth on it and pretty much edge guard quite some time and give them less space out there. So for example, I could just go there and dodge and I could hold it quite some time. Same thing with um, down special. You're out there quite some time. I, it was just cool to, to show y'all if y'all didn't know about that. So the final tag I'm going to be teaching y'all is pretty much universal. That means you can use it on any character, but obviously you can use it on Joker, so that's why I'm bringing it up. Um, they are called IADs, and what that means, it is an instant aerial dodge. And what this allows you to do is do all your aerial attacks on the ground. So how you do it is you do you keep your movement upwards, and you either go left or right, and you dodge, and then you hit a input, whether it's attack or um, special. So for example, it should look like something like this. Or something like this. But as you can see at the bottom of my meter, it burns your meter. So yeah, it actually takes up 50% of your meter each time you use it. But it's a cool tech that you could definitely use to make up new combo routes and etc. And just catch your opponent off guard. But yeah, it's pretty good. All right, combos and touch of death. I'm going to kind of show you like, I guess a few of them in the lab. But I'll probably just show like actual video footage of me actually doing them. But yeah, these are the first I'm going to show you the touch of death. So the first three clips are touch of deaths, as in like there's nothing you can do about it. The second clip though, you can DI out of it. But if you do read their DI, then again, it is a touch of death. There's nothing they could do about it. Um, and then the following um, last four clips, they are just combo routes you could definitely take off. There's definitely a little bit more and little mix-ups that you can do. But in reality, I'm not going to sit here and show you every single one. So again, just take that time to, you know, rewind the video and watch these a few times to kind of understand um, the routes that you can get on Joker. Also, even the jab loop is diable. So again, watch where your opponent's going before you decide to, you know, dodge in to do it or, you know, dodge and reverse in. I almost forgot to show you all confirm kills on Joker. Um, here's two of them. I'm not going to show you everything. You know, I got to make y'all work for it a little bit. Um, and then finally, the last thing I want to show you is that um, up attack into up attack is true. If you didn't know that, so most of the times you're finishing your combo, go for that second up attack. All right, and the next topic we're going to talk about is all of Joker's moves viable. And I want to say 90% of them. I'm not going to talk about the good ones. I'm going to talk about the four personal ones that I feel like not enough Jokers use and they should probably start using or the reason why they don't use it and let's get straight into it so the first one we're going to talk about is this neutral special i think this move is awesome i think it's a great parry move and it's also a good kill confirm as you saw um earlier um but it is definitely buggy i had moments where like certain characters i go against it just doesn't work like whether i'm touching them or they hit me and it still doesn't work um definitely want that to be looked at um and get improved but yeah this move is highly good and it only uses up half of a um a par if you don't know what a par is pretty much a bar and you only use half of it and it's really good 
Um, next move we're gonna do is the side special. Yes, even though I just showed you a confirmed kill with the side special, I really don't see a lot of jokers using it, especially to edge guard, man. It's a really good edge guarding move that um, more jokers need to use when you get your opponent off stage and you know they're gonna try to um, recover down below. Um, it could definitely catch them. And yeah, I definitely recommend using it more. Um, next, we're gonna talk about is his up special yes you do see jokers using it but do you really see them riding the balloon not that much um highly recommend um you know when you're playing neutral and stuff just to let the balloon just chill on the map so you can always use it to um pretty much like a neutral tool like where you're next to your opponent you know playing shuffles you can kind of just fly in with a you know big ass hitbox and yeah highly recommend using that and then finally the worst move in the whole kit of this character is his down special yes um i really do not recommend this move at all um it definitely is a mix up and a troll move especially his down special and it's a good uh, edge guard kind of because you can spam it as you can see right here um but yeah you really don't see jokers use this especially his um this one the the attack one because it's such a small hitbox but um the rock the cannon cannon's pretty good but again um not the best as you can see there's better um tools that joker has to stop their opponents from getting in all right the next topic we're gonna talk about is joker's neutral in game plan so jokers are gonna all have different type of play styles as every character does for example myself wavy um psyche and shiro we all have different um, play styles for this character but for the neutral for this character there's about six ways this character could truly get in and pretty stronger than a lot of characters so the first one i want to say is this fishing for jab this jab is long as hell especially when you're going to go for um you know dodge jabs um in this game uh, the next one i want to say is his dash attack his dash attack is pretty strong because it's literally a dash attack into up attack into up attack all true by the way which as you can see the damage um shows out a lot um next is his flower move his flower move is pretty good because again you can hold it forever you can also bait out of it as in jump out of it or cancel out of it um next is his cards yes his cards is really good for neutral too because you have three different type of cards and if people don't know what card that you have it's gonna mess with them so for example the sticky um card the phantom card or the triple stack card and then finally one of his most oppressive move is his side special that literally can um end up the, your opponent into a touch of death that you can also um, manipulate its momentum so for example i could pull back on it i could send them up i can send them down yeah so this character neutral is out of this world and finally joker game plan is pretty much trying to build up as much damage as possible against you um stuff you out with his cars and his side special and finally he's trying to kill you from the top now i don't do the best at explaining that so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna show y'all a full gameplay me going against someone named jay serp i came to my chat he wanted to play me i'm that i was too busy and then i actually caught him this morning and i was like you know what bro let's play right now and that's the game plan i'm gonna be showing y'all um and yeah hopefully y'all enjoy that um leave a like if you like the video comment anything you know i love y'all comments guys uh hopefully you do enjoy this joke guy and it helps you for your long run of you know playing joker and hit the subscribe button guys i'm out peace hey yo i was gonna say instead of try i want to test your um joker i want to taste okay. your joker all right but so i know i already know you know i don't know what i don't know what you're talking about joker oh yeah you do yeah you do i actually you know don't abuse it you don't? I, I, I just that. learned. I, well, I mean, it's not that I didn't want to. I just didn't know it was always true. I knew it was sometimes true. I thought I know. I gotta do that for this. I'll stream it. Are you streaming on uh, Twitch, bud? Uh, not right now. Like I guess I'm making a video. Oh my god, I missed it. I, I just remember that um, I saw him earlier in this call. I knew he wanted a 1v1, so I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll run it. Oh, you're lucky I am a man of mass. How does that feel? Wait. Oh, no. Hey, Jerry. I saw myself. Wait, wait. No, it's not happening, bro. Nah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't shut. I wasn't down. Get that? I suck. Nice. <laughs> Nah, you got that hungry shit. Okay, yeah, that hungry okay, shit. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Off, 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 off. I, thought it, I thought it was snack time. Yo, baby. <laughs> That's a clip for the YouTube video. <laughs> clip for the YouTube video. I'm holding in. Why am I holding in? Ooh. 
How are you feeling with that? With no near anymore, man. Always prepares. To be honest with you, I wasn't. I wasn't that good of a tag to begin with. But I thought about. I thought about um, Harley, and then I would say Black Adam and Bugs, I guess. Black Adam because of the stupid loop, and then that fucking electric shit is insane. No cooldowns is insane on that character now. Um, and then um, <laughs> Bugs, I don't care what anyone says, man. That character loop and confirms are ridiculous, especially with that up tilt, bro. I don't care what anyone says, bro. That shit is so stupid. Oh, also, I learned, um, oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. And also, I learned, um, whatchamacallit, the fucking, um, neutral loop. Nair, Nair, into Nair, into Nair is true. Like, what? I gotta figure out what the Black Adam loop is. Uh, it's just jab, jab. Just jab and then Nair. Yeah. Jab, Nair. Oh! That's, like, similar to Superman's loop. No, oh, I gotta have it. Hard to hit for some uh, no, it's not. So uh, you're probably doing it wrong. It's jab, jab, down tilt. That's it. That's literally all you do. Once you do jab, jab, down tilt, um, that's it. That, and then if they be eye far away from you, you just, you know, chase it with a dodge. Oh, okay. Uh, I well, I was dodge. doing, I was doing like full jab combo and then dare at the end. What do you know? Oh no! What is wrong with you? Ah! Oh, you're scared! You're scared! No <laughs> yep, afraid. Wow, that doesn't hit you. It's kind of insane. I keep holding it in. Oh! I won't let this happen. <laughs> I won't let this happen. Oh! What was that hitbox? <laughs> yeah, that was funny as fuck. I was like, I right, there's no way he's oh, hitting me with the fucking up tilt for me, right? <laughs> But I think my hitbox, my like hurtbox or something, is like extended a lot when I use that that move. I was I was charging. Hi. Okay. One fifteen. I don't care. JP two man. Dodge. <laughs> nah, crazy. Always Dodge. Nah, <laughs> good reason. Dodge. Oh no. Oh, oh yeah. No. Oh no. <laughs> of the uh, lackless of like yeah, bro, casuals yeah. not knowing what the fuck to do with the perks. I think you're dead. Oh no, I'm dead. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I, I didn't have that in mind whenever. Oh, wow, you attack, nice, nice. Mm, you guys stop doing that. Nice, I'm done. I feel like Nair is definitely the better uh, punish because it comes out faster. Yeah, but Before aren't I you ne you're negative now right now, aren't you? Yeah. It for me? <laughs> It'll get fixed on next patch. Tony already said it. I, I do hate that they do 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 and they do shit like that when they kind of just like throw on a soft patch just to fix something when they know it's um messed up. Especially when there's better characters that definitely need more tuning than these characters yeah. that they're looking at. But... Yeah, that was my only thing. I was like, patch comes out, you see they fucking nerf Superman. <laughs> like, there's so I don't know. I just <laughs> next patch needs to definitely be um. Focused Wait, how did they they nerf Superman on this patch? Mm, not that I know. Of. Oh, okay. She got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole other state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.